Hello and welcome back to Digging for Drez. This time we're launching another rescue mission. But we are using this new 2.5 meter command capsule. And we've also got a new Kerbal on board, Sam Kerman. And that's because off camera I kind of lost Valentina. I was flying another tourist mission and it had gone perfectly well in orbit and everything and then I time accelerated through chute deployments and she and the tourist plunged into the ocean just east of the uh, KSC. So yeah, I've now lost Jeb and Val. Not going too well for my uh, 1.0 career as yet, but I do maintain that the loss of Jeb was not my fault. That was uh, due to the um, bugged capsules. I've explained about how their uh, center of mass is all wrong in a previous video. But that's not this video. And we're also launching on the, uh, the same rocket that we did in the last video to launch the space station. And that's what a good space agency should be, really, is you design a series of launches that can carry all sorts of payloads, so you don't have to design a new rocket every time you want to launch something. And that's what, like, NASA and that do. If NASA wants to launch a new spacecraft, they don't design a whole new rocket. They just use an Atlas or a, or a um, Falcon or whatever they need for the particular mission. So, you're going to be seeing this rocket a few more times, at least. And I have sorted out the fuel feed problems we had last time. And we're coming up on Miko. There we are, stage set, and on to stage two. And honestly, for this uh, particular payload, there is way too much fuel in the second stage. And you can also see there the um, target that we're aiming to rendezvous with. Just uh, checking our apps. Pretty standard launch so far. Now we're going to be coming up behind the target, so we want to go into a lower orbit. Just throttling down to keep below 2 G's. It's pretty standard for my launch profile. And there we are, rendezvous nodes coming up a fair ways behind it. And we're coming up on 84 kilometers, and he's at 89. So 88 kilometers for our Apple apps. That's pretty good. Still plenty of fuel left in this second stage. For subsequent launches, I'm going to um, yeah, reduce the amount of fuel in that stage. So I don't have to pay for... pay quite as much. Because that's what career mode is all about, really. Is managing funds. And there are the space whales. 
The background music in this game is so cool. And setting up for orbital insertion and tweaking our rendezvous. Most of this I'm just going to time accelerate. Point at the maneuver node. And there's the moon right there. And here we are. Four times time acceleration, orbital insertion, and now just using the add and subtract orbit buttons on the maneuver nodes to plot my rendezvous. Using these these buttons is really useful for seeing where you're going to be in subsequent orbits. Just remember to delete the maneuver node before making any corrections. And now I see that in the next orbit we're going to be passing it. So it's time to set up our orbit match. So you just use the prograde, retrograde, and normal sliders to adjust down to about 0.6 kilometer encounter. Point out the uh, marker. And time chiller right once again. Now we're coming up in our maneuver. It's only a couple meters per second. burn complete. Well, not quite yet. There we are. And now, using the uh, translation controls to adjust down the uh, encounter, it is a good thing to do, but it can uh, use up a lot of mining propellant. And you can see that being depleted up in the top right there and the problem is using like especially radial burns in a circular orbit is about the most inefficient thing you can do so it is a good practice to try and trim down your encounter if when you're still a fair ways out like this just remember to keep an eye on your minor prop. And we're within four kilometers now. So a bit more time acceleration. Until we get down to within one kilometer. Then we turn to our relative retrograde and push it onto the target vector. And that will trim down our encounter to about 0.1 kilometers, so within 100 meters, which is exactly where we want to be. And just using the RCS again to uh, maintain 
that trajectory. And you want to sort of keep your speed up when you're um, in a uh, rendezvous like this. Especially when your orbits are so close together. Because being that the orbits are circular, you will eventually drift away. And the higher your closing speed, the less that will happen. Just remember to uh, null out that velocity before you get too close. Here we are, within 150 kilometers. And it looks like Sam Reek Herman is inside a Mark I cockpit. Apparently she was part of a um, space plane that went wrong. And this whole rocket was really a hardware test for a uh, crew shuttle for the space station. And it has plenty of Delta V to make a rendezvous at 150 kilometers. And there's Samri's pod. And really all that needs to happen to make this rocket the uh, crew shuttle it's meant to be is just replacing that nose cone with the docking port. And we do have another mission lined up to the space station to attach a larger docking port as well as a uh, control module. Because at the moment it's uncontrollable, it's just a crew can. And just sliding in beside it here. I like that velocity. Switch over to Samri. The pilot in that uh, main rocket there is also called Sam, so yeah, a bit more science over the deserts. So I think I'll call Samri Samantha or something from now on. Just so I don't get them mixed up. Yeah, when I grab onto that ladder, there we go. Sam Kerman, meet Sam Kerman. And now, I did think about going for that second pod there because we do have an extra seat, but it's three quarters of an orbit in front of us. That would take a long time to catch up on, especially at this low altitude. So, just uh, going to return these two back to Gerben. Once we make this burn to uh, deorbit, that'll be the end of the fuel in the second stage. So we've still got a completely full orbital stage. So more than enough fuel. And a lot of wasted money, really. So the 30 kilometer reentry corridor. And more time acceleration. And decouple the stages and orient for re for reentry. It looks like we've got a nice solar eclipse there. Not too unusual in Kerbal Space Program, being that the moon's orbit is not inclined. but still nice to see. And as usual, not very much heating at all. Barely use any of the heat shield. Drogue deployment. This is meant to land in water, so it's angled. 
and mains. And after losing Valentina, I don't time accelerate through shoot deployment anymore. Let's check for science. None there. Well, see you guys later.